Say this, uh, look at somebody and say it like this, say, I'm moving the stones, moving the stones. that's blocking my change. Blocking my change. <laughs> say it again, say, I'm moving the stones, moving the stones. that's blocking my change. Oh my God, get that in your spirit. Say, I'm about to move the stones that's blocking my change. Anybody need some change still yet in your spirit? You really feel like you still need a change? You really feel like I haven't really arrived? I'm not there. I'm not where, where I think I need to be or where God want me to be. So I'm going to go ahead and move the stones, amen, that's blocking my change. That would be topic for you. You want it? Yes. You don't want it. Yes. We need it. It starts off with the word and because it, it's a B topic, but it's attached to the first one. Right. So so you, you already said I'm moving the stones that's blocking my chain. Somebody say and and, and I'm taking my high place back. Woo! Woo! Say it again. You got that saying I'm taking my high place back. I'm taking my high place. How many know the devil done bounced some of y'all out of your high places? Amen. He done moved you. He done shifted you around. Amen. While people are talking about shift, 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 some of these shifts are not good. Amen. Come on, lift your hands to the Lord. But lift your hands and say, amen. I am getting ready to move the stone that's blocking my chain, and I'm taking my high place back. You better shout right there. If I didn't say nothing else, I just preached to you from the title. Amen. I just preached from you from the title. You may be seated in God's presence. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's see what we can do with this. Amen, somebody. I'm moving the stone. Anybody been feeling some blockage? Yes. yes. Anybody been feeling some blockage of your change? Yes. Come on, say, but I'm moving the stone. Ah. Blocking my change. Look at Ezekiel. Let's see what's going on in there. What, what, did you see any common connections here? Or did you see anything uh, that looked like it might connect somehow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there. Amen. You just got to kind of look at it and see what's really going on. Ezekiel chapter 7. Uh, um, something is going down. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and God always, he always, he all, let me tell y'all something. He'll always send a prophet around. He'll always put a prophet. He'll always put a word in the prophetic voices that he has called out to, uh, to give you some help, to give you some warning, to give you some, uh, come on, some necessary things. Amen. You, you, you might be a little bit confused and doubtful about something, but the prophetic voice begins to rise and come forward. Amen. Right at the time that you need to hear here, come on, a word from the Lord. So, amen. God is saying tonight, amen, there is a prophetic voice that I have loose right now for such a time as this. But the thing is, somebody need to learn how to listen and obey. Because it's not going to do you no good to, amen, to be in contact and up close and personal with a prophetic voice and you cannot hear it. Uh, that's right. So I'm going to move these stones. That's blocking my chain because I'm wondering why, you know, have you ever said, I'm wondering why this change that I've been waiting on has not really Amen. hit my life in full force. Amen. I'm getting, I'm getting, come on, some of y'all are getting little bitty, little bitty, little pieces of little shadows of change. Amen. It's time for you to get a big, fat, major, come on, everybody know, everybody see, come on, type of change. Wave your hand and say, yeah, that's me. That's what I'm waiting on. Amen. I don't want these little kibbles and bits. I, come on, I had enough of that right now. I need something huge to hit my life. So, amen. So, the prophet comes along and begins to talk to the people of God, but sometimes folks just don't want to listen. Amen. By the time we get down to uh, uh, verse 26, it says, mischief shall mischief shall come upon mischief and that's where we are really right now to, to be honest with you mischief on mischief rumor shall come upon rumor then shall they seek a vision of the prophet and it's too bad that you only want to hear amen from heaven amen when you get in trouble i don't hear you saying amen i want to hear dude what does god say oh my god I'm, I'm going through something right now i need to hear what god gonna say about this you should have been listening to what god said about it from the from john you act like God never said nothing about nothing sometimes. He ain't never said, he ain't never touched on this subject that I'm needing him to touch on now. Really? Come now. Lift your hands to the Lord. Yes, he has. Amen. But it's it's it, it, it's you know why you can't hear his voice? Because you hear others. You can't hear his voice because you're hearing others. Amen. You remember that message I preached called extinguish. 
distinguish the voice of God and extinguish the other voice. Amen. You got to distinguish the voice that you're hearing from God. Yep. Amen. And let that be distinctive. You know that that's the voice of God. And when you know it's not, extinguish it. Just like you're putting out a fire because what you're putting out is a lot of mess. You're putting out trouble. You need to come on and put out your fire extinguisher and put it out. Yes. So you can hear the voice of power. Somebody say glory to, glory to God. So we don't want to know what heaven is talking about unless we're going through something. So, 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 so when the apostles and prophets speak to us, we need to turn around and listen. Amen. And then we need to get up and rise up. And then we need to wake up because it's too much sleeping going on. Amen. And I'm talking, about, I'm talking about some spiritual sleep right now. We're doing too much sleeping like we don't know what's going on. God said, I'm trying to wake you up so you can understand what's going on around you. 